My goodness, huh? What a big difference, huh, since the last time I was, I was here. Crazy. It's completely done. Right. When I was here, we had like six tanks on hand. The conference room wasn't done. The offices weren't done. Yeah, we made a lot of progress in a short period of time, right? We're growing shrimp. And we're actually growing shrimp, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm Tom Montemire. Chief Technical Officer for Natural Shrimp. Uh, Mike Pineda here, who is the general manager who runs this place. And then we have Dow, that's our chef, and does all working with uh, up in Dallas, uh, working with Gerald. We're mostly with Gerald, but that's correct, in our corporate yeah. office. Mm -hmm. He keeps me pretty busy. Every really oh, yeah. He keeps me very busy. And I think you're going to get busier now. Too. We're going to get busier, yes. Yeah. So today, we're going to show you our facility here. I know you've read a lot of press releases. But we want to show you actual video of the facility to bring you up to date. Uh, last time we did this video, we didn't have a whole lot done here. We had a number of tanks in place, but not all the tanks. They're all done now. Uh, the rooms were not complete, but they're all complete now. We're staying in our conference room with this window here that we're going to bring visitors into. And we'll be able to be more biosecure that way. We'll have visitors in here, not a lot of visitors, but when we do have visitors, they'll be secluded in here. The employees will go through a biosecurity area to enter the production floor, and we'll show you that too. But anyway, anxious to show you all this, we finally got to a point where we have the construction finishing and then we're stocking shrimp. And so we'll show you all that today. Okay, now I'm going to show you shrimp in one of our grub tanks. We have a window in the side you can look through to see them. It's a great way of viewing the shrimp, see their behavior and, and how healthy they are. So we've noticed and we've proven out that the shrimp occupy the whole water column, so from the floor all the way to the top. And you can tell that from looking through this window here, but we've also seen it inside also. So we bring shrimp in every two weeks from the hatchery, uh, about every two weeks. So we stock shrimp and we've been doing that for a while now and we're going to continue to do that from now on. Look amazing, Tom. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And they're yeah. so healthy, so clear. Yeah. Well, I got one question though. Okay. Why is the water not crystal clear? I think most people expect the water to be crystal clear. There's a reason for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we call it a clear water system as opposed to a bioflock system. In a bioflock system, you wouldn't be able to say see more than an inch into the water because there'd be so much, much material in the water. You don't want it crystal clear because the shrimp love it better when it's not crystal clear and when you feed it does cloud the water some uh, but that's okay this is exactly the way we want to see it so less stress for the shrimp it's not so clear so that kind of gives them more the effect like they're like a security for the that's right, right yeah they can hide from each other a little better and, and so it's just it's just a better environment for them uh, it, it will, it'll clear up some and get a little darker, darker. And go back and forth but kind of like the nature like the like in like in the ocean right like right. the way it would be yeah. Yeah, no, this is uh, just the way we want to see it. Yeah. Uh, Michael, why don't you explain what these employees are doing right now? All right. Andy and Patrick are actually weighing the feed out. They're going to dispense inside the hoppers that we precisionly weigh out each particular tank. We get our feed from Ziegler Feed. Uh, real nice young lady up there, Cheryl Chu, that I deal with personally, uh, is weight. Her, in her way to go. Uh, she's a sweet lady and she's 100% customer satisfaction with her. Um, as we say, they're weighing them out into the feed buckets and they'll dispense them into the hoppers. Now, Mike, as I understand it, as the shrimp grow bigger, the uh, diameter of the feed pellets, that also increases? That's correct. If you look up here on top, we have Raceway Zero, RP1, RP2, uh, 1.0, 1.5, 330 second. Uh, is our grow up feed and as the animals change their size so does the feed to fit the animals. Uh, it makes sense in a human life you're not going to give a newborn baby a steak. 
So when our shrimp reach maturity, we give them the steak and potatoes, so to speak. As when there are smaller juveniles in the nursery system, then we uh, introduce the raceway zero, raceway root, uh, comparable to what they can digest and ingest. Okay, well, thank you, Mike. Mike, can you explain a little bit what the, what the guys are doing right now? Absolutely. We got Patrick, one of our new technicians here, and we got Andy, our newest technicians also, uh, are feeding for the day. We have a, a, a dedicated chart to come out to feed these animals. Uh, they're loaded in the hoppers, and at the back there in the back, uh, we talked about it before, we have automatic feeders. Uh, we program these feeders, as our technicians have programmed the feeders, to come on at a given time, uh, calibrated for each particular lot. Uh, as the day goes by, we keep feeding tanks all the way down. As you can see, this roll of feeders going all the way down. The smaller ones are the nursery tanks. The bigger feeders, hoppers, are the, for the grow out tanks. And that's how one of the missions they do for the day. blinking lights tell me what is all this this is what we talked about earlier and on the earlier video is how we can program dial specifically for each particular tank how much feed gets broadcasted how much feed gets annotated into each tank how much feed we can slow down how much speed we can speed up everything is tailor-made for every particular tank as you see the labels down here some don't have labels on it but they go to each individual feeder and hopper that we can precisely Put amount of feed inside each tank. Thank you, Mike. Well, as you can see, and what we said in the press releases, all the tanks are in, all the systems supporting the tanks are in, and, and as you pan around here, we'll be able to show you that. But last time you saw the video, we didn't have all these tanks. We're stocking tanks, all the constructions done so now we're just ready to get into operation and grow shrimp and harvest the shrimp when they're ready. Thank you Tom. Nice looking shrimp. Yeah, they're very healthy, full guts. Oh, they look great. Almost they're ready for the plate. Beautiful. Thank you, Mike. Tom, tell me, this looks like a camera. Is this camera in the, in the tank? Yes, uh, we, we'd like to drop a camera in the bottom of the tank here. You can see the video here. It shows the shrimp on the bottom. You get to watch the behaviors and see how they are on the bottom. As we saw earlier from the porthole, you could see the shrimp on the side, and we see the shrimp through the whole water column. So they're on the bottom they're in, and throughout the whole water column, uh, which is good to see. We want to see that because the whole idea here is we have tall tanks, and we want to reduce the square footage for the. So we want the shrimp throughout the whole volume, yeah, the whole not volume just the on tank. the bottom, not just on the top, so forth. Well, you can really see they're active throughout the complete tank. They're not, you know, they're not stable just like on the bottom, like you said. They're throughout right. the whole tank. Right. Dawa, Dawa, these look delicious. Are, are, <laughs> are, are they going to be? <laughs> I, well, I can guarantee you our shrimp is the best tasting shrimp in the world. <laughs> I said that before. I'm saying it again. I just want to say we're really happy with these tanks, how they turned out. These are glass-coated steel tanks, uh, actually from Germany. But they've worked out really well. They, they went in nicely, they were constructed nicely, they've been holding up as far as you no know, leaks, that sort of thing. And so we're going to go with these going forward. We, these are taller tanks than what people are used to, but we want that to save square footage and they're working out fine. Uh, we like the window on the side so we can see the behavior. It's all working out really good. So the next building that we build here on the site in the cost, uh, we're going to go with the same tanks.
So this is the laboratory where we do all the water quality and figure out how to feed. One thing I wanted to show you here is we have this uh, bucket we're trying out. One thing that's really critical in feeding is knowing how many shrimp that are in the tank and what their weight is. And so you, one way to do that is you, you take 100 shrimp out of the tank and you weigh them. You can weigh them individually or all together, but it takes a lot of time. So we're trying out this uh, technology, this off-the-shelf technology. This, this is a bucket and then we also have a tray. The bucket is for when the shrimp are really small, when you first get them. And you put them in here and this can count a thousand shrimp or more at a time in within 30 seconds. It records the data, sends it up to the cloud so you have an image of, of the shrimp and you also have the count. So we're just checking that the shrimp that we get in from the hatchery match what we expect to see. So it's a way to count them without, you know, for a thousand shrimp it's kind of hard to count them any other way. We also have a tray though that we're going to be using to do weight samples and we're checking it out to make sure it's accurate enough. But when the shrimp get bigger, you take the shrimp out of, out of the tank, you put them in this tray, you take an image with your phone, you have an app on your phone, it does the same thing, it calculates the average weight individually of each shrimp along with the count. And so we're going to try to speed up the process of actually doing weight samples and having more accurate samples so we can adjust our feeding that way. Tom, is there anything else about the laboratory that you'd like to tell us? Well, of course, we have the equipment in here that we need. Uh, I don't know if Mike, you want to say anything else about the equipment? Uh, just a little bit in general. Uh, this is our wet lab where we uh, test uh, ammonia, chlorine, and other uh, wet uh, entities of a tank. Uh, our laboratory assistants will come inside here and do the wet tests here, uh, record their data, and put it into spreadsheets on our computer, a natural shrimp computer here. It gets sent out and then we make the determination, I make the determination on the feed-in amounts uh, as we were talking about earlier in the feed-in, uh, exactly how much amount goes into the feed-in that Tom was uh, uh, doing with this bucket over here as weighing the animals. Uh, crucial here is time. Time management for any company and this is going to be a, a great help uh, with this technology to cut back on time for weight sampling. Okay. Thank you. Very impressive laboratory. Okay. okay. Now that we're marching more toward harvest, we might have to put a railing up around the harvest tank, you know, of course, for safety. Uh, we have gates on the on the railing so that we can eventually have a crane that comes over to pick up the shrimp as the as we, the shrimp come out of the tanks. So this is our harvest tank, as a reminder, uh, completely surrounded now by railing. We also use it as a mixing tank, though. So as you can see right now, there's water and salt water in there right now. We can pump it to any tank. So we use this to mix our salt water to get it to the tanks, but then we also use it as a harvest tank. We'll use it to transfer uh, to transfer salt water around. And so let's say we empty a tank, all the shrimp come out, we harvest the shrimp, all that water from the tank ends up in this tank here, this harvest tank, but then we'll be able to pump it back to the same tank or another tank. So that's the plan for this. Okay, here we are in the water treatment plant. Uh, just want to make a few comments about our technology. We have the patented EC technology we're using to do all the filtration. It's a standalone system with EC, carbon tanks, drum filters. But we also have the hydrogenesis uh, machine that we're testing right now. And so this is it right here. Uh, we'll be, right now we have it on the, the, the one of the tanks here, but we'll be moving over to the production building pretty soon so we can test it over there. But everything we've seen in the past with the hydrogenous is it adds a lot of value to and back up to the aquaculture water treatment process. The EC can take care of it, but the hydrogenous will be an additional to that. We're going to test it out next year. Look at this, Chef. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Oh, guess what, everybody? Let me tell you something. Guess what these shrimp are for? What's going on in July? July 11th and 12th, the TRA show. And our booth will be twice the size. Look what we got right here. You guys gonna come over and visit me and taste some of these beautiful shrimp at our show? Now think about it, the show's two months away. Imagine how big they're gonna be then. Can't wait to see y'all. Remember, July 11th and 12th, here in San Antonio. It's a whole event for us. Come see us, TRA show San Antonio, July 11th and 12th. 
Well, from everybody here at Natural Shrimp, uh, I hope, uh, we all hope you enjoy this video and the information we gave again. And I would like to mention once more, TRA Show, July 11th and 12th. Come see us at the TRA Show.